my friends, I'm going to show you our little pit stop where we landed um, as you come up over 6 and heading towards the Soldier Summit in Utah. So here we go. sweetie good morning we have to have our water <laughs> a couple syringes of water because you don't drink water like you should get you out for potty yeah the bed's still a mess because he's always the last one to get up <laughs> okay we got lots to do today i'm gonna get up yeah we're gonna go check out schofield lake today yeah, we're going to go check somewhere, somewhere down just for the day. Then we'll be back. <laughs> Always baby talk him. <laughs> He's so sweet. He's 10 years old. <laughs> this uh, July, oh my gosh. His birthday is coming. I, th I think it's July 30th. <laughs> or 31st, I have to look on my phone. I had I had five dogs at one time trying to remember everybody's birthday. <laughs> it was tough. But now I just have to remember yours, but I know it's July 30th or 31st, but I'll look. <laughs> All right. Okay, hang on. Just a second. Okay. I'm going to put the phone away. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning, YouTube. <laughs> We had thunderstorms last night. Crazy right on top of us. Woof. The Schofield Lake. And they have teepees here. You can run. This is just one of the campgrounds right there. And we're going to go check further down. See what it looks like. Schofield Lake, and this is another viewpoint of the lake. And then we're heading in um, towards another campground. Sorry, Kent's in there, <laughs> but we're in a hurry, so he's going to have to stay in here.
these are pelicans out there. Scofield Lake. Trying to get them. <laughs> How cool. Where'd they go? Ahead of us. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we got to see a deer. I love to catch wildlife. Oh, but it takes off quickly. ears. We're going to see if we can get closer. Actually, it's looking <laughs> perked up a little bit more. All right, let's see how close we can get. We're a little closer. Still just looking at us. Hasn't taken off. There's a rodent right there in the bushes. Do you see his little head? I'm sticking up there. He's just checking things out. <laughs> He's not moving right now. He just took off and ran in the bush. Glad Milo didn't see him. He might have ran after him. Just woke up and took him outside. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> How cute. As long as he stays out of my, out of my van. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. Very cute. Good morning. <laughs> got a chance to film our actual camping because I got sidetracked trying to help my friend at this time was when my friend's dog um, Christina got attacked by bull mastiff and so I was busy getting prayer videos up for her and updates and then working on you know her helping her with her go um, GoFundMe page. So anyways, I never really did get a proper this is where we're camping <laughs> video. But anyways, I was parked further down there just a little bit so Kent could still work his radios and I just pulled up off the side um, just further down. So I have already moved because he's uh, leaving today and um, I'll talk about that when I flip the camera around. But anyway, so but for now, I'm over here closer. Okay, so there I am. And then there's the view of Schofield Lake. And then there was our camping spot, our base camp. And just a good pit stops, but nothing you'd want to spend a long time here. I'm trying to be quiet because he's sleeping still <laughs> in the um, over at his camper, so I, I don't want to disturb him. 
and then there's the view and then there is a road so you do hear some traffic and stuff like that coming up from um, I believe it's 96 coming up over Highway 6 to the Soldier Summit area well, I hope you enjoyed um, this area around Schofield um, Lake and everything. It's so beautiful in this area. This is a good pit stop, as I mentioned, but I, it's not really a good long-term stay, but it's okay. I mean, it worked out for what we needed to do. Um, but what's happening now is, uh, from this point, is I went in different directions than Kent. So Kent went up higher elevation to about, I don't know, 9,000 feet again. And he's going to stay about another week in this area uh, to work his ham radio. Uh, and then there's a l another little contest going on th this weekend that he wants to get involved in and do. And then um, I'm going to make my way back to Oregon by myself. And because my body is struggling right now and with my spine and with my leg, <laughs> uh, with my right foot, with my neuropathy, so I need to take a slower journey getting back and only driving a little bit and resting and driving a little bit and resting. I could do one, maybe a big jolt a little bit, you know, um, but not like he's going to do it like within two or three days, I think three days, whatever it's going to take him, probably three days of big, long driving at one time and just get back. <laughs> because a lot of Idaho, the stretch that he wants to go to um, is going to be hot right now and not very appealing <laughs> to be staying along that journey. So um, I have to tough it out. I mean, I have to get back and my body is what it is. And so we just decided that it'd be better to, for me to go and then I'll meet him back there. We're going to go to the Oregon Jamboree. We're camp hosting there. So I should be meeting back up with him as long as everything goes right with our vehicles and everything. So, um, yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens. But so, okay, I'm on this adventure, and uh, what I'm going to do is go down to Spanish Fork, stay at the Walmart there one night, and it is a long stretch going through Salt Lake City and the suburb cities. Oh, my gosh. I just remember last year I thought I was never going to get through that long stretch. So I'm going to stay at a campground that's on the north end um, by their one of the lakes there, and... Um, yeah, and if I remember, I'll I'll put it in with the tax uh, where uh, it's Will Willard Bay, I think is what it's called or something like that. But it's on the north end, so I'm going to stay there one night probably and reboot and do an RV dump and shower and just kind of, you know, <laughs> just kind of pamper me a little bit and then and then move on. And I've got some places planned out to pit stop along a little bit through Idaho, but I will be moving through Idaho pretty quickly too or as quickly as my body will allow me to, to move, okay? All right, so I hope you enjoyed everything from this day. <laughs> And I love you all, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.